Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I've been putting a lot of miles on my Hyundai Elantra traveling the country and we need an oil change today. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, first things first, hair up. This is gonna be, this is gonna be an adventure. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, so we built our own little staircase and we're gonna get this oil changed. Ready? Go. Here we go. So he's gonna back it up nice and straight. He has his two little lions over there to, to keep it in the middle. Look how easy that is. Look how easy that is. Easy peasy. That was so easy. We're getting under. With my little skinny self. Got a bag on my hand, keeping these clean. Also, got my wrench. Can you see? Great. All right, you ready guys? Here we go. Here we go. We gotta put it on. There we go. Ready? There we go. It's a little tricky with the bag. Sometimes it slips. There we go. It's coming. There we go. Got it. We got it. Okay, so now we're gonna clean the bolts. Just like this, take the bag off and clean away, clean, 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 while the oil is draining, and ta-da, beautiful. Ready, Freddy's. Oh, she killed it. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Guys, we got the filter off. Yeah. The filter is off, and now I need to clean my hand. And I wanted to show you we have a new gasket here, brand new. Um, a new oil filter. Now this one is probably a little bit more of a hassle, a little bit messier, but the good thing about it is you can see exactly what's inside of it and it's a little bit less waste going to the environment, so that's good. Um, and then we have our new crush washer. So we're gonna take the bolt, get rid of the other one, and put the new one on. And now it's time to install. Let's do it. We're gonna install the bolt now and it's still oiling. Is that fine? I don't know what. Ooh! <laughs> is it coming out still? <laughs> okay. Still coming out? The car is on top of me, guys! Is it still coming out? Yeah. <laughs> I just tried to put the bolt in. Just a little bit. Oh. And here's your wrench, madame. My wrench? Yeah. Give me my wrench. Hang on, though. The Let me wrench. tell you something. What? This is probably the best wrench that Craftsman ever made for just your regular average guy. And I figured this was the, the best. Wrench. You, the that wrench. That was the best wrench I could get. I got you that when you were about nine years old. Did you? Yeah. I got two of them. One for me, one for you. All right. Ready, Freddy. We're just going to click, click. All right. Ah. Oh. Okay, now that is as tight as my little arms will go. <laughs> leave, leave, it leave it a second, let the okay. water press, and then give it one little... All one right, little one more torque. little, one more little go. One little tour. One little just go. Little snap, just... Little go. And push. snap. And go. Ah, okay. Good? I think my little arms, my little arms. <laughs> we got it installed. Yay! Thanks to this beautiful wrench right here. <laughs> we have a little baggie here that I'm going to put the old oil filter into so dad's going to be my assistant today hello going to grab a nice clean rag nice clean rag so why do you change the oil filter like oh yeah this? so i'm keeping the oil filter so that we have evidence of us changing it just in case anything happens to the motor Ta-da! perfect and it's dated okay. so we're going to put the new gasket on da -da -da -da. Come on, baby, come on! Ah, come on! Sometimes this little thing, there we go. Sometimes that little thing just does not want to come out. Now we're going to put the new one in. Super cute. Now we're gonna clean the outer rings with all the oil in it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Ah! She's so clean now. I love it. I love it. So dad has a little trick for you guys. We're going to put the oil filter in, right? Okay, so what's the one thing I never do? 
You never put in a dry oil filter. Right, absolutely. Never. Well, ah! <laughs> Hold it up on the inside, and then you'll turn you'll turn it to saturate the top until it until it goes. You gotta wait. It takes a little time, right? I always have oil in my filter. You gotta let it you gotta let it drain, and then saturate the whole side. So when I'm changing oil at a at a five minute oil change, you think that dude's doing this? No, you're getting a dry filter, especially on my big truck, a two quart filter. No way. No, that was on. a cool trick. No, don't turn that it sideways. Cool okay, I'm not turning it sideways. Time to install the oil filter. <gasps> don't do that. So what you're gonna do is install it nice and straight, as straight as possible. Start twisting away until you can't really twist anymore. And then you're going to tighten it fully and your oil filter is changed. Da da! It's all tightened up with my hands and now I'm gonna use a tool. So the last thing that I do is make sure everything is free of oil. We go in with the rag, clean everything off, you know, make sure everything is good. And then we look for, you know, if things are broken, anything else while I'm under here, because I don't ever want to get under here again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything looks really good and uh, nice and clean, no oils on there. And we're good. Now it is time to put in the oil for the 2022 Hyundai Elantra. We're going to use 020 full synthetic oil and just about over four quarts. Let's do it. So we have two and a half quarts here, so we're going to pour it in. Oh, shit. Huh. I didn't even realize about this handle. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, yeah. That's like a dumb move on me. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Don't be a hero. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, <laughs> death. The wrench is in the way. We're letting this drain out and then we're gonna put the cap on, clean all around it and check the oil. So we're done draining. Take this out. Ta -da -da -da. Put the cap back on like so. And then we're just gonna go ahead and clean around it real quick. Cause I did drop some oil. Clean around it, make sure everything's nice and so it looks good. Next thing, check the oil. Now it is time to check the oil. I'm gonna take it out, clean it off, and we're gonna put it right back in, just like that. And then we're gonna see where it's at. So if you see there, looks good, right at the full line, and we are good to go. Yay! Final thing to do is check to see if there's anything happening in the hood, anything that shouldn't be there, and coast is clear. So now we're going to just take it up. Ready Freddy's, and we are done. So one of the coolest things about changing our oil is having the car actually up in the air. So the Hyundai Elantra is pretty low to the ground, and it's a little bit of an ordeal to have like a jack, jack it up and figure out that whole ordeal. So instead we created our own little um, blocks and we have a little platform here that the entire car can get onto. And then we have some fence boards that we had laying around. We um, stack up the fence boards so that the car can actually back up onto the platform. And then it's so easy to get underneath the car and change the oil. That was one of the things that my dad had the biggest problem with. He's a bigger guy and getting under the car is such a hassle. With this, you pile the pile these on and you get the car up. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. He's backing up the car now. I'm gonna pile these up and show you how we get the car down. Okay, so now that the oil's done and we have our little staircase nice and stacked, he's gonna take the car off just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there you go. That is a successful oil change. All right guys, so the oil change in my 2022 Hyundai Elantra went so well. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and don't miss another video, so make sure you subscribe. Bye guys.